Hey McGinn, welcome back. It is read aloud time again. And I know I sound like a broken record here, but I'm gonna say once more, uh, that's probably a lie, I'll probably say it a couple more times. Absolutely love being with you for these read alouds. Love, especially the beginning of the year as we start to uh, come back together again for the read alouds in class for this YouTube channel. And I love to pick with the new books that come in. This is a book here that was a Caldecott honor book. That means it was uh, one of the best picture books of the year recently um, it is called night owl and i think you're really going to going to enjoy it by christopher denise here we go <clears throat> since the day he hatched owl had one wish to be a knight every morning before he drifted off to sleep he imagined himself as a real knight. He would be brave, he would be clever, and he would have many friends. It was just a dream, until one day, knights began disappearing from the castle. So Owl applied to night school, and to everyone's surprise, he was accepted. Owl was an excellent student. But he had a tough time with a sword. Even the smallest shield was a problem. And he had a habit of nodding off during the day. Night school was hard, but Owl worked and worked. He graduated with honor, as all knights do. Owl was assigned to the, to the night night watch. He was very good at his job. The other knights usually fell asleep during the long night, wa night, night watch, but Owl didn't mind. All alone on the castle wall, he finally felt like a real knight. Until late one evening, it was very dark and very, very quiet when Owl heard a strange sound. Whoosh! It sounded like a huge bird flapping its wings. Hoo! Owl called. He heard the sound again. Whoosh! 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 Hoo! Hoo! He called. Whoosh! Hoo! 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 Owl called. Who? Me? said a deep voice. Who? You? asked Owl. I am a hungry dragon, said the dragon. Owl was very afraid, but because he was now a real knight and knights are brave, he puffed out his feathers and said, I am Owl, and I am a knight of the night watch. You don't look like a knight, said the dragon. You look like a midnight snack. Owl's feathers trembled. But because he was a real knight, and knights are clever, he said, You don't want me. I'm too small. Hardly even a mouthful. A mouthful is enough, snarled the dragon. I am all feathers and fluff, said Owl. A great dragon like you needs something tastier and more filling. How about a pizza instead? It turned out that the dragon loved pizza. They talked about how each of them had hatched from eggs, how much they liked the night, and how flying was hard to explain to someone who had never done it before. They really had a lot in common. The following week, not a single night disappeared, or the week after that, and every night Owl patrolled the walls. It was very dark and very, very quiet. But Owl didn't mind, because he was brave. He was clever. And he had many friends. So boys and girls, I hope you like that fun little story about Owl. Just a, a nice, neat little book about bravery, about being clever, a little bit of friendship mixed in there. Had a little bit of everything, and that's the beauty of books, that there's something there 
for everyone. So uh, that's about it for today. We'll be back with another read aloud tomorrow. McGinn, have an awesome night.